I first of all became involved in commercial musicals with a show called Cats, and it Heard was it. ten films in no particular order, and everything of the construction of that, of course, in great detail, worked up musically and melodically with Andrew, but everything about the narrative, the hidden narrative, and, and so on, was um, what was part and parcel of what's known as directing. Um, as far as Glim Zerabla is concerned, um, yes, it was hugely, hugely much part of the process um, every single day, um, contriving what, what ways of, of making a narrative work, um, structuring it, um, and indeed, on a number of occasions, writing words. Um, we, John and I did contribute uh, considerably to, um, to 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 the eventual score, right. so it is yes, it's very very gutting and galling when um, a whole new version of Les Miserables has now opened in the West End, um, uh, and we are not allowed to have anything to do with it. Um, so, um, it's a it's a it's a very very sad circumstance there. Mm -hmm. In in the it's interesting to to notice though that in the development of the show the development of the show went on went on happening long after we first opened at the Barbican Theatre. For instance, the song "Stars" was sung by Javert immediately after the Thénardier Inn scene in the in the original run, and it didn't sit well there because there was no real real preparation for it, and it wasn't until we um, opened the show in the West End that we we moved the song to the end of the Paris Beggars scene, which which is where it can be much better prepared for, where he, he feels like he's got a reason for singing it. Um, and even up to the Broadway revival, I mean revival, the Broadway premiere, yeah. um, in, in rehearsal in New York, we put in a new scene for Valjean in the second act where he, he sings a reprise of, um, of uh, Who Am I? in order to rethink the story, in order to make the decision that he has to go away and leave Marius and Cosette to their own devices. We put that in because we felt that he didn't have enough of a thought process before. So the, the show actually got a little bit longer. <laughs> Thank we, you. When we took it onto Broadway, it was, it was over three hours long on Broadway. It was three hours. I know. Yeah. I got overtime because I played, I played in the orchestra. I got overtime all the time. It was an amazing gig. 